Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Wednesday. That means we are using Marmel. So instead of having this video be like a freaking millennium long and me not even try to even talk about my day because I'm so focused on the duel, I'm going to try to stay as focused on talking as possible because I don't want this video to be too long because it's like 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm kind of tired. But I'm, I'm awake, but I'm just kind of tired. Alright, so... What, what play do I want to do right now? I said, if he wants to take it slow, I can take it slow. Yeah. Yeah, my hand's not the best either. Let's go ahead and take it slow. I said, you got two back row, I got one. We'll just take it slow, alright? So, uh, let me just hop into it. So, of course, I'm going to be talking about my Tuesday, because I talked about the day before. So, on Tuesdays, I have uh, uh, women's studies, and I have... Uh, I have a uh, calculus. So... Uh, as you guys know, uh, me and the uh, movie girl, of course, uh, apparently we had no relationship, so I really can't say anything along those lines, so I'm really not sure what to call it, but, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much, uh, probably not gonna be, uh, you know, talking with her much anymore. Okay, I guess you just wanna get the breakthrough skill in the graveyard. Ghost trick. Oh, no, not ghost tricks. Prince, okay. Oh, I might get OTK'd then. That sucks. My hand is not completely prop. I got all the discardees, but I have none of the discarders. All the discardees, none of the discarders. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, uh, you know, that basket is done. So, the only people who are left who I'm really kind of talking to are. Uh, oh. I'm gonna get fucked up, because I have nothing for that right now. I have nothing for that right now. My kingdom for drawing a discard... discarder. No. Okay, I drew a bit fear when I had the frickin', uh... Come on, like, hello? Thanks, Dak. Like, can I please get something? Uh... I have no idea who can freaking save my butt right now. Even if I did run Catastor, you wouldn't be helping right now. During your main phase, you can normal summon a level 4 lower sea serpent type monster. So I can summon you, you can summon you, you can summon someone else. I can go for Goyo Guardian. I can go for Gundir. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that might actually work. That might actually work. Uh, the only people who I'm really, you know, talking to, talking to right now are, uh, nice deck thinning. I actually go for Gunnir. Don't go for him very often. I can discard up to two. Okay, well I'm only gonna discard one because I would like to keep. Oh, does it just say discard cards? Oh, I'll just discard one. I'll destroy him. He'll come back by, of course, vanishing, but then he'll be weaker than me, and I'll just kill him. Okay, you're cute. Uh, hello. You're not gonna bring him back? When does he come back? Uh, this card is destroyed. Oh, by battle. Oh, ha. I thought it was just destroyed, period. Nope, just by battle. Really informative. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and pass. Ah, uh, next turn, I can use you. Just card, do you special summon you? Normal summon you. Make a, uh, uh, a Leo. Anyway, so just approachable girl and uh, yes, Amish girl. But like I said, I'm not. She's too much. Of a, she's too much of a child for me. Like literally, when I when she's around me, she acts super immature, and I I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, fuck that card. I hate creature swap. I hate that card with a passion. Like hello.
So I take the 25 and you get your effect because this fucking creature saw it. I hate that card. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah. So when you, you're gonna get your effect, of course. Uh, give me a pike, because pike can bring me back Megala. I'm not going to do that this turn, because I'm just going to normal summon without a tribute my Fog Knight, because Fog Knight's pretty decent, as long as I have discarders. Make a big guy and take my shit back. Watch him creature slot me again. Like, give me my freaking gun here, stop taking my shit. Like, use your own shit. Uh Go ahead. Watch him creature swap me again. The creature swap me again and punch him in the face and be like, alright, stop doing that. Oh my god. Yu-Gi-Oh fucking top deck draw into that. Cool. GG. G fucking G. Get another dueling, be right back. Alright, let's try this again. So, like I said, I'm not really into Amish girl. She's not the same person that she was on the first day of class. I can tell you that right now, she... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, I think she got a little bit too comfortable around me and I'm just not into it. Uh, yay, Kleeplet. This should be fun. Destroy everything. Get the fuck out of my face, Cleeplay. So that's either a, uh, it's probably a uh, Forbidden Chalice? No. That's peculiar. Definitely thought he would have a Forbidden Chalice. <sighs> what the hell is it? I don't know. Okay. Did not see that coming. Not remotely. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna get clean plated. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I got rid of him, but... Nope. Oh, it's fine. I pretty much need to figure out a way to get out of this situation. I'm just not sure if there is any. Then you're gonna tribute these two for disc? No, for Caius. <coughs> oh, I'm in deep shit right now. I did not know he was gonna play that. Not even. I was like, oh yeah, I got him. Nope, no, I don't. Uh, anyway, so pretty much the only thing girl that I'm kind of attracted to that's really left is uh, approachable girl. So if you guys watched yesterday's daily duels, my plan was to you know head to class early and uh, of course talk to her. Well, see if she comes and talks to me. Uh, you know because if she was completely not interested, she wouldn't even come up and talk to me. Correct. So that was the plan. And. Uh, 
The only problem is that that plan did not go accordingly. According to plan. Not even remotely. A Royal Decree would have been real nice last turn. Real fucking nice last turn, so thanks for that. I'm just gonna get fucking tore up my ass up. He's literally gonna fucking spread my cheeks. And fucking just whoop my ass. I can't do anything against Klee Ugh, I hate dueling against this deck. There's nothing. Go for Draco Sack and destroy the tool at least. Cause that's how you beat this deck. You keep hitting the tool. You have some kind of response? Is that back or a response to something? Sorry, I did not see this coming. It's a rental. Fuck my life. Ah! Yeah, you got it. You got it. You fucking got it. Of course you have the Toronto Row the Cree. Where were you? You're fucking turn late. You're fucking turn late. No surprise. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Get my ass jumped by Cleefoot. Thank you. Thank you, fucking Row the Cree. Only you are a fucking turn earlier. Just one fucking turn earlier. Ah. Surprise, surprise. Mermel's giving out resource again. So I guess it doesn't matter if it's fucking, uh. I guess it doesn't matter if it's Dragon Ruler or fucking Klee Put. Doesn't matter. Fucking. Near Tier Zero deck is still gonna fucking cry. Oh my god! Come on! Come on, hello? Hello? Toronto I am bottomless. Fucking number generator. Fucking number goddamn generator. Hello? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I fucking lost. I fucking lost. There's no fucking doubt in my mind that I didn't lose. Like, hello? Of course you got the bottomless. Torrental and bottomless. Torrental. I wish. I wish. I mean, fucking Royal Decree. I fucking wish. I lose. You got it. You got it. Fucking go ahead and I'll give you the fucking honor of defeating me. You got it. I got nothing. Apparently, you have all the answers to every play that I fucking do, so you got it. Hate Cleveland. They don't run out of damn resources. Just the same shit. And they're really boring to use, too. got it. Look at that. Look at that. Just disgusting. It's disgusting. Makes you want to throw up in your mouth, huh? Right, I'm done. I'm tired of doing. I did like an hour long recording with Tiago. That you'll be seeing tomorrow, so I'm tired of doing. I'm tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, I'm tired of luck. I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't. Anyway. Let me start talking. So, shit didn't go according to plan. Let me go ahead and explain. So, uh, usually the teacher shows up late because I don't know why. I don't know why. She just usually shows up late. But today, in particular, she showed up super late. So, literally just chilling by the wall, you know, trying to look fucking cool, casual with it, looking at my phone, not even paying attention. So, you know, if a approachable girl would even walk up, I wouldn't even, I'd pretend like I didn't even see her, of course, and see if she'd come up and talk to me. So, uh, five minutes passed where class is supposed to start, and finally the teacher shows up, but the approachable girl does not. So, the teacher unlocks the door, everybody walks into class, and of course, we're already five minutes late, so she wants to get started as soon as possible. And she, there's also no class on Thursday, so she needed to, you know, do, teach as much as she can. Because, you know, she's already late, and she's not going to be here on Thursday, so alright. No class on Thursday. So... I'm, I sat, I chilled outside for a couple more minutes, and I'm just like, huh, okay, I guess she's either not showing up or showing up late. So, I go inside the class and take my seat. Uh, 
when I actually walk into class, uh, there was actually someone in her usual seat. I'm like, okay, well, I guess she has to sit somewhere else, I guess. So I take my seat, and not even like a minute or two after I take my seat, she walks in. I'm like, fuck, I should have just waited a couple more minutes. Like, hello? So she walks in, she looks around, and then, of course, I'm not trying to stalk her or anything. I'm not trying to stare at her. So I kind of, like, look over my shoulder and I see what she's doing. But uh, all I notice is that she just walks out. She literally, I'm not sure what she sat down with, but I know she picked up her stuff and she walked out. I'm like, hello? You're not going to stay for class? So she literally leaves class. Like, is it because someone was in your seat or what? Because she literally just straight up walked out of class. So, uh... Of course, you know, my plan of whole getting her to come talk to me didn't work because she was there. <laughs> just like, oh my god, fucking just, uh, uh, why? Why did you have to leave class, you know? I could have tested the waters after class. I could have probably walked out and if you would have came and talked to me, you know, she has nothing us to do after class then, you know, uh, you know, come talk to me. <laughs> you know, she, well, she could just do her own thing, but, you know, at this point she doesn't have any friends in the class. I'm her only acquaintance uh and she doesn't have a class after she just waits for her mom to come pick her up from college so you know but she decides just to leave and of course no class thursday so I, <laughs> nothing went according to plan nothing so i gotta wait all the way a week all the way till next tuesday to try this again and hopefully it works this time but god just complete failure just uh not according to plan <sighs> yeah yeah and I don't even think there was a seat next to open next to me, but no, I don't even think she was thinking. Yeah, I think she just came in, saw her seat taken, probably sat somewhere else, and she was just like, you know what, forget it. I don't want to be in class today. <laughs> or maybe she got a phone call and she had to go do something. I don't know. All I know is she was not in class, and uh, there's class, of course no class Thursday, so I gotta wait all the way till Tuesday to try this plan again and see if she comes and talks to me. Uh, Kirby girl was there. We didn't really talk. Like I said, she has a boyfriend, and. Yeah, I'm just not interested. Not even remotely interested. I'm not looking for friends. Alright, I have friends. No. No, oh, we just want to be friends. I'm not looking for friends. <laughs> nope. You know, I saw her. You know, I... I acknowledge her existence, but that's pretty much it. She sits next to me in class, so... That's pretty much it. We didn't even talk to each other in class, so... Nope. Uh, after that, calculus. Uh... Wondering how the girl in calculus classes is going. Once again, I can never find an opportunity to talk to this girl. She's 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 pretty cute. She's pretty cute. She she has boobles. Like she's literally out of all the girls that I've been flirting with this entire uh, semester. She's the only one with the boobles. Like she has like C cups. Uh, but I just literally have not found an opportunity to talk to her. You know, we're just so busy with freaking classwork that you know I just never had an opportunity to talk to her. So. Um, Half the class we're spending, uh, still going over, uh, what are we doing? We're doing, like, integration, except, uh, definite integrals, except the limit is going to infinity. So, you know, everything under the cover all the way up to infinity, we're doing that. Finding if it's congruent, I mean, convergent or divergent. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing, so we did that for, like, the first half of the class. Uh, I was actually keeping up on my math homework. I've actually been doing like four problems a day. So because of that, I'm not procrastinating on my math homework. Therefore, I don't have to, you know, sit there and do my math homework and not pay attention in class. So that's good. Um, and then the second half of the class, we just did a review because we actually have a uh, calculus test on Thursday. So no class for women's studies on Thursday, but Thursday for cal I, I have a calculus test. So uh, class starts at 11. So <laughs> got to go drive down there, at, uh, you know up to like 11 get in <laughs> and take my calculus test and drive home only one class <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to talk to calculus girl you know with that game I learned a lot I learned a lot never give a girl your number get their number all right that's to all of you who didn't know that and if you did then you should have told me don't because if you give them the, your their number, if you give them your number, then they're just gonna take your your number and just be nice, you know. Because once again, women work on emotion; they don't work on logic. Logically, you 
And logically, if women would think logically, they and you, someone was like, hey, let me give her a number. You'd be like, no, 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 thank you. I'm not interested. I'm not going to call your number, so there's no point in t me taking it. But women are, uh, of course, working on emotion. So she, the, the first thing at the time, like, oh, well, he's nice, and I think I can, I'll go ahead and take his number just to be nice. I'm not going to call or text him, though. So get, get their number. So when you get their number, they're either going to, you know, tell you, no, thank you, not interested, or they're going to give you a fake number. You know, so either way, they're just trying to be nice. But, uh, uh so I'm going to try to talk to Calculus Girl. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe act the class, talk to her about the test and how she did and stuff like that. Maybe get to know her a little bit better and then ask her for her number. And if she tells me no, or she has a boyfriend, then sure. All right. Like I said, I don't like wearing my heart on my sleeve, so I'm totally not going to fucking, you know, I'll just move on. I'm like, oh, okay. But, uh, you know, I'll probably make some excuse like, all right, uh, uh, let me get your number, you know, I'll go ahead and call and text you and, you know, we can help each other out with this calculus, you know, you know if you ever need me help with any problems, and I need to get her number, like I said, because if I get, if I give her my number, she's not going to call or text, so I got to get her number, uh, so I'll try to do that, uh, uh, this upcoming class, of course, and, uh, this Thursday, so hopefully that works out, and, yeah, and hopefully do well in the calculus test, for calculus class for the review, she gave us, like, 10 integral problems and the paper was called 10 and 10 so she timed us in uh, 10 minutes and you had to get down with them in 10 minutes i did uh and then she gave us this other worksheet that was like uh 8 and 40 and they were like calculus two integrals much more difficult so it was 8 and 40 but we only had 30 minutes left to class and she's like you won't get it done in 30 minutes i got it done in 30 minutes like hello super easy and then she gave us this other worksheet which was like at take home and it was like called it's like 4 and 20 but it took me like five minutes, so I'm pretty confident, you know, and uh, she gave us a paper to go ahead and check our answers. There's one problem where I got an, uh, one answer and she got a completely different answer. So I was checking my work and I'm like, how the, how the heck? And she actually got the problem wrong. <laughs> she, she multiplied the problem, one of the, because it was, uh, you're supposed to multiply by inside the parentheses by two. So uh, 64 times this number and 64 times this number. So she multiplied 64 times the first number, but then she did one over 64 and the other on the, on the other number, so it was like 1 over 64 times 4, which is like 256. I'm like, like no, they cancel. It should be 16. It'd be 64 over 4, which is 16. She's like, oh, yeah, you're right. So I ended up getting all the problems re correct and uh, finishing in time. So I'm pretty confident I'll do pretty well in this calculus test. Not even worried about that. Uh, for, uh, and for homework, I had to do a resume, a teacher resume. I know. And teacher never taught us how to do it. It's literally just do Wednesday. It's just like, hello? You didn't even talk about it. You didn't even teach us. So I literally had to look online, guys. And my resume looks really naked. Like, really naked. There's not much, you know? Like, so it's like, uh, you know, what's your objective? What are you, you know, uh, what are your good qualities? Of course, I said, you know, I'm very sociable. I'm an entertainer, you know? And there's like occupations. I didn't want to put any of my previous jobs because they're not even important. So I literally put this YouTuber. Like, I guess that's a job. I don't know. And then for references, I only literally have like two references. which is my two math teachers from high school. I really don't have anybody else. I need to start building up some, re some, uh, from, uh, some reference references. But yeah, it, it just looks really naked and bland. Like, if I would try to present this right now to try to get a job with a teacher, they would never hire me. So... Uh, hopefully over these couple of years while I'm trying to, you know, build up my reputation and learn to be a teacher, hopefully I'll, my resume will build. <laughs> so, anybody want to give me references? <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and call up. So, so, yes, you heard me. Yes, tomorrow, Daily Duels is to celebrate, uh, you know, Tag with Tago. It's actually been a year. So, to celebrate, uh, Tiago asked if we could record an hour-long video. So, yes, tomorrow's Daily Duels is going to be an hour long. So, I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, uh, Pendulum Chaos Dragons. Uh, thanks for watching.